Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am the Pink Flamingo. And I just want to start off by saying, guys, thank you for all the subscriptions, all the likes, all the comments, all the views. Um, I appreciate and value all my new subscribers. Um, and I just want to say overall, thank you guys. I know so many of you have basically found me from the last couple of videos on Princess Catherine, Kate Middleton. And um, I just wanted to say, you know, some of you told me that you were from the Australia. I think the UK in the comment section is what you guys were saying. Um, so if there are any celebrities in the UK or Australia that you guys would like me to do readings on, please feel free to leave those below because um, I kind of want to give a variety on my channel so everyone feels like they have something to watch, okay? So I don't want my UK subscribers or my subscribers from Australia to come over and just be like, I don't, I don't know any of these people. I don't care about them, <laughs> which could be true, right? So I want to make sure that you guys also feel like you're entertained, right? So we can give each other a bit of variety and everyone can get a little something, okay? Um, and as for my other subscribers who've been leaving, um, what it is, the request, I know it seems like they're not coming up right away, but believe me, I'm seeing them and I kind of have to, you know, kind of rotate them in, right? Um, I can't give all of Beyonce or all of Rihanna, um, because simply everyone that subscribes may not like you know, those people. So I got to make sure that everyone feels comfortable in terms of, I like this channel and I'd like to watch things on this channel. Okay. So for my subscriber that requested Chris Brown, this will be my third Chris Brown video. And it'll probably be the last Chris Brown video for now guys, but I will be doing that one after this video. Okay. So be on the lookout for that, for all the people who love Chris Brown. Um, and I just wanted to say, guys, um, out of all the videos that I've done thus far, I seem to have a little bit of issue with the Chris Brown videos where people seem to have a little bit of odd comments below. So if we can kind of tighten that up a bit and keep it a little more classy, I would definitely appreciate that because I still want you guys to comment. I still want everyone to be able to express themselves, but you know, I like to keep it kind of classy over here. Okay. So Moving right along, guys. Um, so I decided to do a video on Travis, Kelsey, and Taylor Swift. I know I just did Kate, uh, Middleton, Princess Catherine. And, you know, unfortunately, guys, the air is kind of thick. And I feel like we need a bit of entertainment to get our minds off of the dreadfulness that's going on in this world um, and her being completely missing. Um, after my reading, you know, it was very dark for me, right? I emotionally felt very sad. I felt sorrow for her and pity in a way. Um, so hopefully everything is okay with her, at least for her children's sake. Cause like I said, guys, I don't have a, you know, a ton in common with her, but you know, as a mother, I would like to see her back, you know, in the arms of her children and her children in the arms of hers. Okay. I don't know if they're separated at the moment, but I'd like to see the reunion kind of take place. Okay. Um, anyways, guys, so moving right along back to this Travis Kelsey and this Taylor Swift. Okay. So there's been rumors going around guys that they're like on the brinks of a breakup or they've been broken up. Um, I don't quite see it as of yet, but you know, I decided to do a reading on this only because um, I did Kayla and I did, um, Travis. So, and as we know, for the people who did watch that video, you know, they kind of had their issues here and there. So if you haven't watched that video, feel free to go watch that. I'm not going to say too much about that video, so I don't spoil it for you, but you know, you can check in the playlist on my videos and I'm sure you'll find the Kayla, Nicole and Travis video. Okay. So we're going to tap right into the cards, guys, and see what spirit is willing to tell me about this couple right now. Um, I don't know if people are just starting rumors because they like to see them broken up. 
Um, but they seem to be lasting a lot longer than I thought they would. And, you know, his relationship, of course, with Taylor could be very different than that of his with Kayla Nicole. Uh, so, you know, I don't really know how that's going to go. I don't know if he's made any big changes in life and, you know, he's a new man. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just going to tap into the cards and see what spirit wants to tell me um, based on that situation right now with them. And see what we can kind of find out. I know a lot of people are in support of this relationship and, you know, they love them from Taylor Swift and, you know, they just love the, the idea of the both of them together. So we're going to see what it is that spirit wants to give me in terms of energy with them. Okay, guys. So I'm going to do some shuffling here. I'll put one back here. Why not? Right? Why not? Still a spot. Guys, I really got to get a new table. I swear this table is like the tiniest table. Okay. Okay. So. But yeah, they seem to be going on, guys. They seem to be going on a little strong. I don't know how much longer this is going to last or if there's marriage in this for them. Who knows, right? Only spirit can tell us, right? What this is really like. All right, spirit. Can you tell me the energy around Taylor Swift? And Kelsey Travis. Is there marriage in the future? Possibly long term. Are they having issues in concealing that? Does Taylor see a future with him? Does he see a future with Taylor? What's the energy? Anything you'd like to share about this couple? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? All right. Oh, something popped out. Vacay. Well, I'm not surprised. All right. Let me shuffle a little more, guys, and see what else I can pull out of here. Okay. Well, Spirit got right into it. Okay. Oh, I'll just let that sit, too. And I'll flip that over in a second, guys. All right. Okay. So card number one that came up, guys, is the getaway. Relax. Have fun. Okay. Now, I know exactly why Spirit pulled that one out right off rip. I do believe currently um, Taylor is on tour. Was it in Singapore? Well, she's somewhere. <laughs> and from what I know, Travis just recently flew out to be with her with two of his friends. And then, you know, there's rumors that I guess his manager's out there vacationing with his wife. So it's kind of like a whole group thing where they're kind of like out there on vacation to support Taylor. So I, the vacay makes sense. Okay. This is something that just recently happened. I believe within like the last couple of days. So it makes sense. Okay. And I don't know if it's Singapore, so you guys can correct me if you guys are the Taylor Swift fans and you know her tour dates and where she's at. But I know Travis was just somewhere in the world on vacation with her. Okay, let's see what else we got. Nurturing, mentorship, wisdom, and giving back. Okay, let's see what else we can pull. Oh, exhausted, burned out, burden, and empty. All right. So what I take from that, guys, with the nurturing and the exhausting coming back is. I get I get the um, energy, guys, that they both kind of give back to each other in their own way. Like there's something that Travis provides to her that she enjoys and she genuinely loves 
Um, and there's stuff about her that he genuinely enjoys. But it seems to me that exhaustion is coming up right after the nurturing. So um, let me see if I just show, I don't remember if I showed you guys that card. Okay. So the nurturing came up. So there is positive things about them as a, like, you know, as a couple. But unfortunately, what Spirit is saying is like, they're tapped out right now on each other. It's starting to become exhausting, right? Um, they're kind of burnt out, they're burdened, and they're empty, okay? Now, I can see how that can be because I know Taylor's been on tour and I'm pretty sure trying to balance this new relationship with him is exhausting. I'm sure him, you know, flying across the world to every state and every city and every country she's in gets exhausting. After all, he is a football player and he only travels from state to state for the most part. So I can't imagine being the boyfriend of Taylor Swift and traveling around the world. I can see how that can be exhausting. Not only that, but they might be kind of exhausted of each other. Right? So I'm going to basically shuffle again, guys, and see what else comes up and see if we can get some more clarity on that exhausted card and see where they're at. Um, to me, Taylor looks all the way exhausted. She looks like she's ready to go straight to bed. Um, you know, nonetheless, people are coming out for her shows and they seem to be enjoying it, but you know, I don't know how Taylor is doing it, to be honest. <laughs> I think some people have reported that I don't know if it was the last couple of shows, but she looked really tired and they were kind of worried if she was sick. So I'm a little worried that maybe some of this partying because they are saying that they they're doing some partying after these shows. So I don't know if Taylor's a bit exhausted from this partying um, because we think about it. Travis is, you know, not really doing much right now. He's pretty much his NFL career, not career, but you know, in terms of being season wise, it's kind of done for. So he's not really doing anything right now based on his career. I think he has like a podcast. Maybe that's it. But like, come on. Taylor's like a full show on the road. You know what I mean? Traveling from country to country, flying out every night. So I can see how trying to keep up with him and entertain him, especially on this whole we're on vacay, that, that's definitely exhausting, right? Because she's not on vacay. She's at work. But, you know, you got to entertain a man that's on vacation. It's mm. anyway, let's see what spirit got to say, guys. What else spirit can you tell me about this situation with Taylor Swift and Travis? What's 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 the energy? They're exhausted. What else? What else do you want to tell me about this situation? Okay, let's go for the poll, guys. Okay, karmics, third parties, haters, and lessons learned. Okay, I'm going to see what else I got when I pull that. Running. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. Now, for the people that was there for the last reading, I know some people got mad when I was talking about that karma. But if you remember what I said about the karma, then you know what this card means. <laughs> this is not, this is not well, especially after the exhausting. Um, there is, it's definitely saying a lot is going to be happening, right? This whole karmics, right? Um, there's clearly people that are involved in this situation, right? There's third party opinions. And as we can see, Travis seems to be taking his, you know, his sidekicks with him when he's kind of going on these tours with Taylor, he kind of has his friends tagging along. So that's kind of the third party energy. Um, I'm not sure who it is that's tapping on her side. It could be family that kind of comes out to these shows to support her. I'm, you know, I'm not, I don't know much about Taylor Swift um, in terms of her personal life, but, you know, I've been told um, from people who clearly <laughs> like her in her last video that she seems to have a very strong relationship 
with her family. Um, well, in my last video, I don't know if I just said that. Um, so I don't really know, but you know, it seems like there's some people involved in this relationship. It's not just them. And then obviously the haters, which is the people that don't really want them to be together, which I'm sure there's some Swifties that don't necessarily like him for her and maybe some Travis Kelsey fans who are NFL fans who don't like Taylor Swift for him. And then the lesson learned guys. Okay. So there is going to be a lesson that has to be learned at some point in this relationship. Now, spirit is saying someone at some point is going to take off running. Now, I don't know who it is between the two, but someone is going to be looking for escape. Someone's going to have excuses, you know, and denial the whole, the whole nine yards. And that kind of goes with the karmic and I believe the exhaustion, right? Because when something becomes unbearable, the one thing we want to do is run away from it, right? It's just with anything in life, okay? So I'm going to shuffle up and get the last card, guys. And then I'm going to see if I can... Basically, tap into another deck and see what spirit will tell me in that deck um, for them. If there's anything long term for Taylor. All right, spirit. Well, let me do some sh uh, slicing here just to get that last card and the energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, maybe I need that light. Ooh, okay, tapped on. It got brighter. All right. Okay. All right, spirit. So, Taylor, this relationship has someone taken off running. Is there anything you'd like to say about that in terms of the running situation or anything brand new you'd like to tell us about this relationship? What about Taylor Swift? And Travis Kelsey. What's what's there for them? Okay, they're exhausted and there's running coming up. What, what do you want to say to me about that spirit? All right, guys. Mm. All right, today good vibes now in the moment. So guys, what spirit is saying to me is this might not be something long-term for the both of them. They might be just living in the moment right now. So, you know, a lot of fans, you know, a lot of Swifties or people who support Travis might want to see them together. But the both of them might just be looking at this as a fun thing. Like this might not be as serious as the fans want it to be. Right. Taylor might be just looking at him as, you know, I'm having fun. I'm just trying to see where this goes. And he might have that same energy towards her. They might generally enjoy each other. Um, they might like hanging out with each other. But. Spirit is saying that this is just one of those live in the moments kind of thing, right? So I'm just going to try to bring that card closer, guys, so you can read it yourself. But it says good vibes now in the moment, okay? Then they got the running card, okay? Then they got the karmics, right? So there's something karmic about this, okay? They got third parties, haters, and lessons learned, okay? Spirit is also saying there is exhaustion, right? They're, they're exhausted. They're getting exhausted. They're getting burnt out, um, burdened and empty, right? You know, Taylor's cup is kind of getting empty. His cup is kind of getting empty. And that's all from all that nurturing they've been trying to give this relationship. They've been really trying to do this, right? And like Spirit says, this is all this vacay stuff, right? For Travis, this is a vacation. For Taylor, she's at work. And sometimes when, you know, you get with someone and for them, you know, he's off season. He's trying to enjoy his best life. So for him, the lines are kind of like blurred as to, you know, 
this is her at work. For him, every night at her show, it's a party. For her, it's kind of like, yeah, about that, I'm kind of at work. <laughs> so I don't know if he understands that, right? I don't think he understands the lines of what it means for her in terms of this being her career and she's on tour. But anyways, guys, like Spirit says, they're living in the moment. And it's it's just energy of right now we're having a good time. Spirit didn't give me anything long term for these two. So we'll see what the next deck will give me and what Spirit will say through that deck. But um, it kind of, it kind of, you know, I, from the last video, guys, that I did on the first video with Kayla, I kind of picked up the energy that this is kind of what it would be. But of course, you know, I can't determine that. Spirit has to determine it. Determine that. Sorry, guys. Um, and, you know, we shuffled, we pulled the cards and Spirit basically confirmed that this is this might not be something long term like this might not be you know us throwing white rice at the wedding you know we're we might not be hearing wedding bells for this one you know taylor might just be having fun and nothing is wrong with that it, it's one of those things where you're a celebrity and people want to make it more serious than it is and the both of them might just be just kind of having fun. They might not even be taking this as seriously as everybody else wants them to take it. But you know, people will come and argue and they'll fight because they want to see <laughs> this couple win. But at the end of the day, if they don't care to win and they're just having fun, I don't think people should take it that seriously, right? But hey, anyways, guys, so we're going to shuffle these cards and um, this will, this deck is called The Truth Is. OK, so it kind of gives you a little details as to advice sometimes um, as to what spirit wants to say to them about their relationship or tell us about their relationship. OK. Oh, something wants to come out right away. Ooh, OK. Spirit. Spirit got into this real bright and early, I see. Let me just straighten up these cards. <laughs> and then I'll share that with you guys as to what it is that just flipped right out on its own. What the heck is going on? It's like all jumbled up. Okay. Guys, these cards are huge. So I got to kind of shuffle these slowly. But I do love these cards because they do give so much insight to things. Okay. All right, Spirit. What do you want to tell me about Taylor Swift? Oh. Mm. And Travis, can I get through it, Spirit? Can I get through it? <laughs> All right. I appreciate you, Spirit. Thank you very much. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I'll just shuffle on and we'll see. Okay. Let me just show you guys what popped up. Okay. Spirit gave us settling. Okay. Accepting less than you deserve. So spirit is telling me that somebody here is feeling like they're settling, that they're feeling like they're actually getting less than they deserve in this situation. So somebody is feeling like, the scale is somewhat unbalanced, okay? And they deserve a little more than what they're getting. I kind of know who that is, but we're going to go through these cards. <laughs> All right. The forbidding love. This relationship is frowned upon by many, which is the truth, right? We do know right now a lot of people don't want them to win. Now, I'm not one of those people that don't want them to win. I just kind of felt like, you know, what spirit said, which is like, it's one of those in the moment kind of things. Um, but, you know, a lot of people don't really like Taylor Swift. A lot of the football fans, you know, they were kind of like, can you get Taylor Swift out of here? We just kind of want to focus on football. 
And then you got the opposite of the Swifties that are like, I don't like him for her, which is also understandable, right? <laughs> so a lot of people don't really care for them together, right? But then they do have that little niche of people where it's like, yes, you know? And then this card popped out, okay? The masquerading, okay? And this card is pretending to be what you'd like in a partner. Okay, guys? So look at that. Masquerading. Pretending to be what you like in a partner. So what Spirit is telling me right now, guys, is there's somebody really pretending. Someone has their mask on in this relationship and they're definitely pretending, right? They're not giving, they're not being authentic. Okay, in any type of way. There's someone that is being a little. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I am to be honest and tell you guys where I direct each energy, I feel like Taylor right now is the one that believes she is settling. I think she kind of feels like she might deserve better than Travis Kelsey. And the masquerading card might be him. Right? And this is why Taylor might feel that she's settling right? Maybe she's starting to see some of the stuff that's really kind of inconsistent with him, right? Let's see what else pops up. Mm, avoiding. Refusing to accept the reality of this connection. So Spirit is saying that right now, and you know what? This card and this card really goes together. And I believe this is Taylor coming through her energy is she feels like she's settling right now. And she's kind of avoiding the inevitable, which is, you know, she's trying her best to make this thing kind of work. And it might be a little stressful for her guys because people kind of kind of put her in that category of being like the breakup queen and writing like the breakup music and songs or whatever. So I think what it is, is she's like, let me kind of hold on to this connection. But spirit is saying she's refusing to accept the reality of this connection. Okay. Let me just shuffle up again, guys, and do some slicing. But guys, this is not giving me any long-term stuff. I don't know what else I'm going to pull, but so far it's, it's just giving me, they're having fun. And this connection is not as strong as what people are trying to make it as. Oh, these cards are so huge. Um, guys, I'm going to do the best I can <laughs> with this lacing. But yeah, Spirit is saying like, you guys want this, but they don't want this. <laughs> That's basically what Spirit is saying. Like you want them to win, but they don't want to win as much as you want them to win. <laughs> so I don't know, guys. I don't know how long this is going to last. You know, they've kind of avoided all the breakup rumors and they're, they're going strong to a degree, I guess. They haven't ended it. But like Spirit says, Taylor is in a bit of denial right now where she's like, I'm settling. I can kind of see that, you know, you're pretending to be stuff that you're really not. And I'm just refusing to end this situation. So we're going to see what else Spirit has to say about this. Okay, guys. All right, Spirit, what else do you want to tell me about Taylor, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? Is there anything that's odd or anything we should know about these two? Anything long term? Um, do you see them breaking up, maybe going um, long term, even though they're starting off rocky? What do you see for these two as a couple? All right, spirit, let me know what you think about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Oh. Okay, so the love magician popped up, okay? And it says you have the power to transform this connection. So what spirit is saying is, they kind of still have the ability to make this work if they wanted to, right? So it's not completely a dead thing, right? It's not completely dead, 
But I would assume Taylor would have to come out of that zone of feeling like she's settling. Because feeling like she's settling right now is clearly not helping her. Right? (laughs) So she has the power to change this if she wants to. Right? If she wants to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to take myself out of the mindset of I feel like I'm not settling. Or maybe if Travis changes a bit and kind of gives her more of that authentic vibe she's looking for, they do still have a bit of power, staying power in this. But I'm going to pull another card and see what else comes up. See, that's another problem. Okay. So, what Spirit is also pointing out to me is better now. Okay. So, healing wounds within this relationship. So there are wounds that need to be healed on both sides. And that might be why they don't, this might be why um, the connection could end. But if they end up maybe doing, I don't know, some therapy, some working on themselves on a personal level, they could probably end up trying to make this thing work. Okay, and that is what spirit is saying when it comes to the both of them is that they both have to heal. So I don't know if it's Taylor that might have any ex boyfriends. Like, I don't know too much about the guy she's dated. Um, I do know about Travis with Kayla. So I don't know if there's still any kind of hurt from that that he's dealing with in terms of missing her or wanting her. Um, I don't know if there's any guys that Taylor thinks about um, that she might be dealing with or anything that's hurt her from her past when it comes to the guys and the same for Travis. But spirit is basically saying that the both of them kind of need to heal in order for this thing to even work. If they really do want to have that whole thing work. Right. All right. Let me shuffle up again, guys, and see what else I can pull out of this. But, um, basically what spirit is saying is, um, Taylor's kind of made up her mind in terms of accepting the fact that this might not work for her. And she's kind of delaying the inevitable, but spirit is kind of telling her or them as a couple that if you really want this to work, you guys are going to have to do some work for it. Right. You know, he needs to start being a little more authentic. Uh, He needs to heal his wounds. She needs to heal her wounds and they kind of have to come back together. Um, not with the facade of I'm Taylor Swift and I'm Travis Kelsey, but maybe she needs to come with the I'm Taylor and he's Travis. Okay. Just like take the egos out of it all together, do your healing. And then maybe you guys can actually find power in this type of connection. Okay. See, I'm going to shuffle up again and see what else comes out for them. But, you know, this is what Spirit's saying about what they need to do. So it's not the best connection, (laughs) you know, they're kind of burnt out, right? We, as we've seen in the last deck, right. And this kind and this deck kind of is giving us the same energy as well. Like they're having fun. Um, but this is not long-term and Taylor kind of has her one foot out the door already, guys, you know, that's the energy I'm picking up. He might be in it more than she is. But she already got one foot. She already got one foot out. She's really the one running. (laughs) Spirit said someone is running and I get the energy. It's very much so Taylor because Taylor feels that she is settling at this moment. So there's something that Travis is not providing her with. Right. And, you know, what he could be lacking is he needs to heal. Right. Because at the end of the day, you can't really give your partner anything unless you're healed. So he might not be giving her what it is that she's looking for, but it maybe if he worked on himself a little more, you know, him and Taylor could probably hang in this a little bit. Oh, let's see. We just wanted to. Ugh. 
Okay. This is kind of very confusing. So I'm going to actually shuffle some more card guys and see what pops up and see what it is that spirit's trying to say because spirit is saying they could actually work but there's a lot that needs to be fixed <laughs> Woo, this is this is kind of odd okay guys um my cards are getting jumbled up i'm kind of laughing at this a bit okay all right, let me shuffle up and then I'll just show you guys what it is that spirit just threw out of the deck and just fell out of my hand, okay? <laughs> okay, I have another card that wants to fall out. I'm just going to let it fall. Okay, let me flip these all over. Okay. Okay. So spirit is kind of giving me a mixed signal of, about them as a couple, which is like real life, okay? Because Spirit has already told us that they have the power in this connection, okay? And they're saying, Spirit is saying they could be victorious, right? So they could be this power couple, right? Because Spirit is saying you will overcome any problems within this connection, right? So if they could get it together, basically what Spirit is saying, they could be a power couple. Whatever reason that is, Spirit is saying they could actually be a power couple. but. Spirit is also saying lust, sexual chemistry, but no depth here, which kind of goes back to having to heal them damn wounds. You can't really have chemistry. Um, I mean, you can't have depth without kind of healing your wounds, right? Sex can be great, but, you know, if you don't do the inner work on yourself, it's not going to work. And then I got confined, guys. Right? Spirit is saying someone feels confined right now. At the same time, someone feels trapped in this connection, which is giving me Taylor Swift. Okay? So Spirit is not saying that these two couldn't make it. Spirit is just saying they don't have the tools right now to make it. And someone already is very indecisive and kind of over this situation, which I get is Taylor because you got the settling card where someone clearly feels like they're settling. Okay. This, this sure as hell does not help that people simply don't like you guys together, <laughs> you know, and then we have the masquerading where we're seeing that. You know, one of them is not really being authentic or the both of them probably are not being very authentic. They're kind of bringing their celebrity into the relationship versus being two people who want to be in a real relationship. That in itself is not going to make something work. So I don't think Travis really knows Taylor. He knows Taylor Swift, but he doesn't know Taylor. And I don't think Taylor knows Travis Kelsey. I think she doesn't know Travis as a person. She knows Travis Kelsey as the athlete, right? So the both of them are caught up in this thing and it's more of like a hype thing. It's like, oh, I'm with the football player and I'm with Taylor Swift. But along those lines, as Spirit says, they're lacking this. They have sexual chemistry, right? So, you know what I mean? The bedroom's flaming, but they got no depth, right? And at the same time, Spirit's also saying to them, you know, they got the love magician, which is you have the power to transform this connection. If you only would heal your damn wounds, you, if you could get that together, this could work. Because if, if you guys could get that healing situation, this could be victorious for you guys. You could be the power couple. You could be out here conquering everything. But unfortunately, guys. Spirit is also saying that Taylor Swift is kind of unsettled. She's not really certain about this, right? So she's kind of delaying the inevitable, right? She's refusing to accept what this connection is for what it is, which is it's shallow, right? It's good sexual chemistry, but that's all that it is right now. And because of that, she feels trapped. It's like 
I like what we have going on, but what do we really have going on? I don't quite understand it. And because of that, I feel like I'm kind of settling for something. I'm just not getting everything I want out of this connection. So guys, that's basically what spirit is telling me, <laughs> which is kind of like more in details as to what we pulled from the original deck, which we got the exhaustion. Let me see if I can actually pull out some of those cards and have a look at the top guys. Uh, did I put them cards away? Let me see. Oh, maybe they're on the bottom. Mm. Uh, maybe I did kind of throw them away into this pile. Mm, I don't know. Okay. All right. Maybe I'm finding them now. Okay. What else came out of that? Okay. But yeah, guys, spirit is kind of just telling us the same thing in both decks. Um, this is not a for sure thing. Taylor doesn't know what she wants with this. She kind of doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> so, you know, when people are online and they're kind of like fighting for like that whole thing where it's like, you shouldn't be talking about them. They're, you know, they're a great relationship. It's kind of like, yeah, but Taylor doesn't really feel that way. <laughs> it's like you want it to work for her, but Taylor might not want it to work for her. And to be honest, what I'm getting out of this guys is that Travis might be more into this than um, she kind of is, right? I'm missing a card here, guys. But, you know, unfortunately, guys, this is kind of one of those things where people end up together and they're just having a good time. And then pressure is placed on them as a couple to kind of make it work, right? So she's trapped. Because it's like, people want this to work, but she doesn't know if she wants this to work, you know? And to her, it's like, I'm settling, you know, we have, we're great in the bedroom, but as far as the bedroom goes, we're pretty like surface level. Like there's not really anything in depth with us, you know? And don't forget guys, I just went to go look for these cards just so I could show you guys these cards again, right? We had the exhausted. We had the nurturing, you know, she's basically exhausted from nurturing him basically is what it seems like. You know, we had the vacay because that's what it's like for him. You know, he's always on vacation when he's going to her shows. And then we got the running, which is basically what she's doing right now. She's mentally trying to run away from this. She's, she's not sure. And she doesn't really take it seriously. Right. She got the today card good vibes, living in the moment. So this is not something long-term for Taylor. She's just, I haven't got any cards, guys, of love and romance or passion. Um, Spirit is basically saying this could work if they wanted it to. If they wanted it to. If they wanted to do the work, this is something that probably could work. But unfortunately, it, it seems like Taylor already has one foot out the door. It's very hard to work on something when you feel like you're settling, like when you feel as if you deserve more than what's actually being given to you. So guys, I'm going to wrap up this reading. It's quite a bit of a longer reading, but you know, I just wanted to give you guys something to, um, to look at in terms of this relationship and get more, get into two decks so we can see whether the reading is consistent. Um, and whether we're still, we're pulling out similar cards, if that makes sense. So thank you guys for, um, stopping by <laughs> and getting into this Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey reading. Um, unfortunately guys, I don't see any wedding bells. We didn't get really a married card or a long-term connection. Just the possibilities that they could work as a power couple if they really wanted to, and they wanted to do the healing necessary to do so. It seems that they both are kind of at that crossroad where they both kind of need some healing. So yeah, guys, well, thank you for stopping by. Like I said, share, like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. What do you think about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? Do you agree with spirit or do you think, um, they're really in love and it's passionate 
or do you think spirit is right and it's just a good you know bedroom connection with no depth all right guys well thank you for for watching <laughs> bye bye